Hey everyone, Mike here with Prehistoric Magazine. Welcome back to another video. Now, today I have somewhat of an interesting topic. You know, most of the videos that I make on this channel, there are really no easy answers for. I mean, obviously it's extinct life. We have to look to the modern day world. And today I had a good fun time making this video, doing some of the research for this video. But what do we think about the chances of big theropods hunting big sauropods? Now, if you've watched this channel for any amount of time, or you've read my publication, Prehistoric Magazine, free link down in the comment section down below. You may know that I have a fixation or a fascination with, you know, big predatory dinosaurs hunting even big sauropods. Now, we've never really gotten a proper hunt, in my opinion. You know, in Jurassic World, we saw the Indominus Rex hunting the Apatosaurs, but we kind of just saw the aftermath. We didn't actually get a chance to see that animal bringing those huge plant eaters down. In Prehistoric Planet, we got a little bit closer in Prehistoric Planet 2 with the Tarbosaurs taking down one of the Nemectosaurs in the Gobi Desert. But it didn't actually take it down. That animal fell during a stampede, injured itself, and the Tarbosaurs closed in for the kill. Again, I think that's very realistic. I think that's probably what would have happened most of the time. If you were talking about big predators hunting sauropods, I think they just would have taken advantage of a certain situation. Now... Today, though, the topic of the video is, do we think big predatory dinosaurs could have hunted big sauropods? And how often, if we do think that happened, how often do we think that may have happened? Now, for all honesty, I believe that something like that probably would have not happened too often. But I don't rule out that it didn't happen. You know, there's a video that I linked down in the comment section where you can take a look at a pride of lions hunting a full-grown elephant. Now, it's not the biggest elephant. It's obviously a smaller adult, but it is an adult, I believe. And the way they hunt in is kind of chilling. The way they move as a pack is kind of chilling. Again, it's down in the comments section. Be sure to take a look at that video. It's pretty cool to watch. And I think it gives us a glimpse into the ancient past. You know, modern day animals are, even though lions are not dinosaurs, I think the behavior of modern day animals is probably similar to what dinosaurs had. And I do think we have to look at that if we're trying to understand the past. Now, understand that lions do hunt elephants, but it is rare, but it has been documented before, so it's not like it's out of the question. Also, things that you may want to consider are, in the past, there have been prides of lions that have specialized in hunting elephants when marshes and creeks and things have dried up. So the answer to that is when the environment became very difficult to live in, animals are pushed to the extremes and they have to take risks. You know, if you're hungry and you're thirsty, you may take more calculated risks than when you're living fat and you're good. So again, when times are tough, you may have to take risks. And who knows for predatory dinosaurs, there must have been certain times of the year, or who knows, even during different times during their lifetimes that conditions may have become very difficult and they'd have to take a chance. I don't think animals take a chance because they want to, it's because they have to. There's an easier meal, they'll take it. Now, I'm not talking in this video about predatory dinosaurs hunting juvenile sauropods. I'm talking about predatory dinosaurs hunting what we, can, what we could consider to be a big adult sauropod. Now, obviously adult sauropods must have gotten sick, they must have gotten weak, and I do believe they may have been picked off from time to time. I just don't rule out that that's not impossible. Again, I don't think it was common, but I do think at some point in Earth's history over the reign of the dinosaurs, that must have happened. Now, if you look at that video down below where the lions are pursuing the elephants, if you look at the very beginning of the video, it looks like the lions initially grow interest by looking at the juvenile, the very young elephants. That's what initially catches their eye. Once the elephants make a protective herd around it, which I believe sauropods would have done as well, then the lions kind of set their sights on something else, maybe a straggler. So again, I don't think that, you know, we can definitely look to the past and I don't think it's unreasonable to think that something that happens in our world wouldn't have happened in the prehistoric past. So you know, think about several big predatory dinosaurs, a pack, a family of predatory dinosaurs approaching a herd of sauropods. Now, when they approach that herd, I believe what probably initially catches their eye is the young. Those are the easiest, those are the smallest. But again, what if a 
herd of sauropods is making a protective wall. They're even bigger than elephants. Their limbs, their tails are many times larger than elephants. So that's going to be almost an impenetrable wall. But just like the elephant situation down below, what if one or two sauropods starts to break rank and starts to make a dash for it? And what if one of those animals is not necessarily the largest, you know, kind of a smaller size, but still an adult, still an adult sauropod, but kind of on the smaller size. I don't think it's unreasonable to think that those theropods would have changed their mind, not gone after the juveniles, and pursued that smaller adult as it made its way away from the pack. Because remember, there's safety in numbers. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area. You know, the Golden State Warriors have this, the slogan, strength in numbers. There's definitely strength in numbers. But when you break ranks and you break off, you leave yourself open to attack. And that's what this elephant down in that video did. It got scared. It made a run for it. And eventually it was overtaken. So I don't necessarily think that that's out of the question. Big predatory dinosaurs taking down adult sauropods, but maybe adult sauropods that are on the smaller end, not the truly gargantuan adult sauropods of whatever species you're dealing with. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. If you took the time to watch this video, really would love to hear your thoughts on this. Do you think that a scene like that is believable? Even if it only happened every once in a great while, do you think that a big predatory dinosaur, packs of them possibly, could take down a sauropod that was maybe on the smaller size but still an adult? Or do you just think that a scene like that would just not be possible? Sauropods are simply too large and just impenetrable walls of defense. So love to hear your thoughts on that comment section down below. Appreciate all the support. Take care.